So I got another day in the life for you, this time using the Galaxy A53 by Samsung. And before we get started into that, let's go ahead and factory reset the entire device. Start with a clean, fresh wipe, fresh install of applications. Not going to do any restoring backups or any of that stuff, but just getting it pretty much from the jump and getting it charged to 100%. Now, there's not much going on in my day for a Sunday. Maybe just a couple of places that I may end up going, uh, but first... Got to get a little bit of spring cleaning done and get some stuff organized and moved around. You know, that way it's a better feng shui. But while doing that, um, yeah, we're not going to copy anything to the device. We're just going to go from a straight install. And um, yeah, I'll give you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, everything that pretty much has to go with the Galaxy A53 if you were to use it today in 2024 and in real world usage. So um, let's get this completed set up. And then we'll get going from there. All right, so I yeah, just spent a good minute just kind of repositioning my work desk and, you know, just trying to get things situated here course shading up my room a little bit but um and i spent the morning watching a couple of youtube videos that sort of stuff i'm currently sitting at 80 percent uh 80 percent battery life and that's also like with the initial setup of like you know after wiping the device um signing into the google account re-downloading every app that i've had before and signing back all into them uh we're, and then watching some youtube videos for a little while and I'm sitting at 80%. So, um, uh, not bad, of course, uh, not the best. But then again, initial setups and stuff like that. So that way I'm using the phone on a fresh install of everything. All right, so it's officially 11.36. Um, I haven't been doing too much on the phone. Just been organizing and cleaning and getting things done uh, on this Sunday for the kids to go back to school from spring break. And right now we are currently sitting at 79% battery. And that's not too bad for, I think the last time I recorded was like an hour and a half ago, almost, it was about 10 o'clock. So about an hour and a half and it only dropped 1% from where I was at sitting on standby on my desk. And uh, I think we do have a couple of things that we have to do later today. Not too sure, but for the meantime, right now, I'm going to continue just getting things organized, straightened up, and um, yeah, that's the plan. So while the whole family is doing some spring cleaning today, um, I've left the uh, Galaxy A53 on the desk, and currently right now it's sitting at 75%, and it is uh, 1.57 p.m. Uh, since the last time I checked in to feed you guys some battery life so hopefully you guys kind of get an idea of just like how battery will be that was mostly on standby um so now we'll do the regular stuff now that we got pretty much everything situated everything's pretty much chill right now uh the kids just gotta finish cleaning their room without fighting as you guys can hear but that's the life of a dad having kids they're gonna bicker and fight anyways yeah i'll check in later So in the meantime, I have a ton of emails that I do need to clear out that are continuously giving me notifications that are there. So I decided that I would do that today and just clear out about 20,000 emails that I've never checked and just mark them all as red just to get them out the way until we head out to the park. All right, so uh, indoor selfie video shot at 60 frames per second. Just kind of give you guys an idea of uh, how video and audio for the video is going to sound. And, you know, previously in the past, I feel like that it does semi good. It's just when you're outdoors, sometimes things can get a bit washed or blown out um, with video. But indoor, it seems to be okay. And I definitely do need to organize my desk a little better and just clear it from all this clutter. This is, again, indoor 60 frames per second video and a quick test. About to take it to the park and get some photos and video samples out there um 
So yeah. <sighs> and yeah, let's go get some uh, pictures, videos and such for the day in the life. I stopped off real quick to get some gas and that's something to drink. at the park right now and I'm filming this on the Galaxy A53 uh, selfie cam outside but it is dark it's already night out all right so uh, man camera 60 frames per second of goodness and I'm gonna zoom in and it gets super grainy when you zoom in. But it does fine. Anyways, I got the splash pad open, which is so crazy because it is like 59 degrees. They still got the splash pad open. Alright, so we're at the park right now. And a good spot for me to basically play Pokemon Go while my kids play. Right there. Huh. See if we can catch this. Well, that was a wasted ball. There we go. All right, so got a little bit of juice left in here. Um, it's actually been pretty decent so far. I gotta say, uh, there are a few things that it gets a little choppy, especially with photography. Like when you zoom in while taking a video, um, it gets pretty noisy, as well as when you, um, you know, take a photo and you zoom in, the photo gets a bit choppy, a bit fuzzy. So the cameras, while you do have multiple different cameras that you can, uh, use to your disposal to get a good shot good video uh, sometimes it doesn't always come out the best my advice though is for those that have the galaxy a53 if you're gonna take photos be patient take your time and just line your shots up and uh don't do like don't expect like a rapid fire to get a good photo definitely take your time This is a very beautiful park. And I'm recording again with the Galaxy A53. Um, just showing more of what the cameras can do and how they respond. Like that light there is just super, <laughs> super blowing it out. A lot of lens flare, but this is a selfie cam. But I get actually during recording video to uh, shoot from the main camera. Which is actually quite nice. So anyways. Uh, to pretty much close this off. Because from this point I'm going to be heading home. 
and finishing out my day. But uh, what I will say is that the Galaxy A53 is a solid mid-ranger, but you gotta remember that it's a mid-ranger. It's nothing more than a mid-ranger. It's not a Galaxy S23, S24 replacement. Um, so it's not flagship, but it does pretty good. And if you get it brand new, the batteries are gonna be like super, super dope. Um, used and the battery, oh, it'll last somewhat depending on how you use it. If you take a lot of videos, a lot of photography with it and everything, yeah, you can kill the battery pretty quickly. If you're playing heavy, intense games, you can kill the battery pretty quickly. But other than that, I think I'll leave it off here. So thanks for checking out the day in the life with the Samsung Galaxy A53. Leave your guys' comments below, your thoughts, emotional outbursts, and I'm gonna go hang with my family now and I'll talk to y'all later.